10 secrets to winning at slot machines. In this Las Vegas video, we're gonna share with you 10 secrets Las Vegas casinos don't want you to know about. Dave and I are also gonna share with you some of our favorite slot machines and ones that you may want to avoid. Now, following these strategies can help improve your chances of winning and leaving Las Vegas with some money in your pocket. Let's get into it. All right, first of all, simply know this. Just know that slot machines are always random. You know, even the best players lose, y'all. Now, don't expect to have an edge over the casinos or the slot machines, y'all. You know, in all honesty, the casinos and the slots will always have an advantage. In other words, the odds are never in your favor. Now, don't fall for the trap of believing in superstitions or lucky charms. You know what, whatever makes you feel more comfortable playing that slot machine, but just know this. Every slot machine has a random number generator, making every spin independent from the previous outcome. Oh, and don't think by stopping the reel quickly, you know, thinking that's gonna change the outcome of your game. No, the only thing it's doing is it's speeding up your game, and we don't recommend that because you might be missing out on a lot of those good free cocktails, y'all. a budget and a money management strategy. Before you start playing, set a budget and stick to it. You should only play with money you can afford to lose. And by setting a budget and sticking to it, you'll make sure you do not overspend. Another tip is to set a money management strategy. If you play long enough, your money will go to zero. Now, one popular money management approach is to split your money into actually separate parts and to play each part separately. For example, let's say you have $200. You would split this part, let's say, into equal parts of $20 and play the $20 separately. And you can play to the effect that if the 20 goes down to zero, you obviously move on to the next $20 part. Or if you double your money on that 20, you kind of keep that, keep that money, put it in your pocket and move on and play the other $20 section going forward. All right, so maybe try this. Maybe start off with playing a low volatility slot machine versus a high volatility slot machine. And what does that mean? It means if you're playing a low volatility slot machine, it has a tendency to pay out more frequently than say high volatility slot machines, which can go a long period of time paying very little, if not anything at all. Although if you do hit on a high volatility machine, it can pay pretty big. As a general rule, the higher volatility machines tend to have the largest top line jackpots in their payouts. So we tend to opt for the lower, the smaller size jackpots, which tends to signal lower volatility machines. Yep, I heard you asking, and I'm gonna tell you what are some low volatility slot machines. Well, you have slot machines like double diamonds, triple sevens, red hot sevens, or even like the ones behind me, you see here, you got the old school pinball and the top dollar. Those are pretty good in terms of paying out and they're low volatility. You'll find higher volatility machines throughout the casino, and they tend to have all the bells and whistles, and many are very, very popular. For example, a great example, Wheel of Fortune right here, super popular machine, and look at that top line jackpot. Woo! That is very, very high volatility. Another great example is actually Lightning Link. This one's actually Lightning Cash over here. Look at that jackpot right there. 79, that, that is a pretty sweet jackpot. Woo! But good luck hitting it. That's gonna take a lot of money to hit that probably. examples include popular games like Huff and Puff and also games with high multipliers. Those tend to be high volatility machines. Now, if you enjoy those games, that's fine. You'll know, have fun, play the games. Just be aware that they're high volatility and they can go through long intervals before you hit jackpots. Now, if you're looking for more low volatility slot machines, you might want to avoid the themed 
licensed slot machines. Now, while these machines can be fun, especially if you have a particular favorite like the Wizard of Oz or Willy Wonka, they tend to have a high volatility and low payout given the required license fees. And this next tip is very important, and that is play higher denomination slot machines. And the reason for that is because higher denomination games will tend to have better payouts than lower denomination games. You'll see a ton of one cent slot machines all across the casino. And the reason for that is the casinos make a lot of money on one cent slot machines. Now, the odds or the payouts of one cent slot machines can be significantly less than let's say a $5 denomination machine or say even more a $25 denomination machine where the payouts can be quite a bit better. Obviously you need to play within your budget, but our advice is to play at the highest denomination possible within your budget to improve your chances at a payout. And this also holds true for multi-denomination slot machines. We recommend playing at the highest denomination possible within your budget to improve your chances. Now look for opportunities to play the must hit progressive slot machines. Now while opportunities on those machines are getting less and less because there's so many more people getting educated about them, they're definitely worth playing on if you find one. A good example of this is Thunder Cash. If it's really close to the major or the minor payout, well you might want to consider jumping on that slot machine. Just a really quick bonus, so these dancing drums here, the pot in the middle, that looks like it's filled up and ready to burst, well just know that that is a graphic. Just because the pot is full, it does not increase your chances of winning on this game here. Just remember the odds are never in your favor, even if the pot on dancing drums looks full. Please you guys, bet enough so that you are eligible for jackpots. You don't want to play a game where you're not eligible for a jackpot because most times in those situations, the payouts will be pretty poor. Always use your player's card. Don't believe the myth that using your player's card reduces your odds. It doesn't. That has no effect on your odds at all, but what it does give you are comps. The casino's trying to give you basically incentives to have you play. It could be free rooms or free food, things like that. Use your player's card, you're just leaving money on the table. Know when to leave the casino. If your goal is to make money playing slots, you need to be willing to cash out and take your money with you after a big win. The reality is that the longer you play slot machines, the greater the chance is that you're gonna give your money to the casino and leave a loser. So if you hit a jackpot, don't keep on playing and give that money back at the casino. That can be pretty painful. Last, this is really, really important. Have fun. Oh, and be sure to follow us on Facebook to see the results of this pinball slot play. High limit room, baby. 